The overall goal of this procedure is to present a novel synthetic approach for endoxoglycosides, including those with complex carbohydrate structures, in good yields. This is accomplished by first synthesizing an endoxylic acid allyl ester acceptor, starting from methyl aniline. The second step involves glycosylating this acceptor with an acetylated glycosyl halide donor. Next, the allyl esters cleaved by a palladium catalyst and subsequent silver-mediated decarboxylation is applied to create the acetylated endoxoglycoside. The final step is zemplane deacetylation to yield the unprotected endoxoglycoside. Ultimately, the prepared chromogenic substrate is used for a qualitative enzyme activity test. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods is that endoxyl glycosides of complex and labile carbohydrate structures can be produced easily. We first had the idea for this method when we read a publication by Alexander Robertson from 1927 who developed the first synthesis of indicane employing endoxylic acid methyl ester. Later methods used N-acetylated endoxyl acceptors due to their better accessibility but suffered of low yields and purification issues. To begin synthesis, acetylate a halogen-substituted aniline as described in the text protocol. Then, in a three-neck round-bottom flask, reflux 2.3 grams of the resulting halogenated methylphenylacetamide.